how are you guys? Well, I'm chilling right now. I actually just walked in the house, but I was like, let me go make a little video. I'm not doing nothing. I've been good. I've been blessed. I've been humble. <laughs> y'all know how y'all just go through things in life, and um, I'm not trying to, you know, rant or anything, but you know how you just go through things in life, and you just want to, like, I don't know. I guess the older I get, I'm humbling myself more, I want to say. Like, I... It's been a little rusty, but I've been trying, y'all. I'm telling you, like, you know how you just go through things in life. You know, you go through life, it has its up and downs and stuff like that. And the old me probably would have spazzed or, you know, so much anger and this and that. But, you know, as I get older, I said, what is that going to do? You know, what is that going to do for me as far as stressing out and making myself upset and getting emotional and ready to punch the air <laughs> you know that that does nothing for me so you know as I get older and stuff like that I see that I'm being like more humble At times I just want to scream like just literally pull my hair out and scream I just be like you know what what I'm doing all that for what what I'm getting upset for something you know things in life you cannot control and you can't do nothing but take it a day at a time you never know what may happen or you know I believe in God, so if he will, I feel like he will turn things around, you know, for the better. And we have to believe that, you know, it's people or whatever, and um, it's Christians, because I'm definitely a Christian to the fullest. Rock with it all day. I grew up in a church, so I'm all about God, all about it. But, um, yeah, but I'm, I'm okay, you guys. I know I haven't been on here. Um, I've been blessed, you know. Um, like I said, I'm taking things at a time, you know. Some days it's worse than others. Hey, it be, it be like that. <laughs> it be like that, you know. You just gotta, just gotta rock it out sometime in life, you know. Every day is not gonna be a good day. And I, I, you know, I had to notice that too. Like, you know, every day is not gonna always be peaches and cream. Every day is not gonna go the way I want it to or my way, you know, and stuff like that. And I feel like God give the toughest battles to the ones that he know can handle it. Even when we think that we can't ourselves, we can basically, like, handle that like me. Certain things I feel like I'm built for, you know. I don't try to fold, you know. I be wanting to, but it's not in me, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's only so much God can put on you, you know. There's only so much that he can put on you, you know. There's only so much you can bear or whatever, but, um. I've been blessed. My son about to be seven next month. You know, I'm happy about that. Because I'm like, wow, time just flying. And it's like, I'm damn near knocking on 30, <laughs> you know, next year. So, Ooh, excuse me. But, you know, I'm, I'm blessed. I'm happy I'm blessed, you know. Really can't complain. Life's been good, you know. As I get older, it's like I genuinely find my peace back, you know. It, it feels amazing to have your peace again, you know. I feel like there's nothing wrong with that. You know, people feel like they have to have a somebody around. I've been there. You know, I've been there to the point where I got to have this person around or I got to feel like, oh, I'm lonely and this and that. But you know what? I ain't going to lie. Them times be the best, y'all. To be alone, to be better time, to meditate, to get your peace back, to gain your peace back, your self-love back, you know, that time with yourself. Even if it ain't with yourself, with your children, with your, your child, you know, that's all company you need right there, like. I love the family and friends, you know, don't get me wrong, but it's just, you know, like they say, you got to watch the company you keep, you know, you can't have everybody around like that, and I've been there, done that, you know, some people you just can't help out neither, and I'm just, you know, I learned that too, I'm not trying to really rant y'all, I'm sorry, I ain't trying to go on a whole, you know, storytelling thing, but I'm just, I'm just speaking on experience and speaking life, and you know, that I'm happy and I'm in a better place in my life right now. And I'm, I thank God for that, you know. I couldn't do it alone, you know. I had to take for God to get me there, you know, get to this point in life or whatever. Oh, y'all, I got to go check my um, my French toast sticks. I got hungry and decided to make me some French toast. So, I'm doing that right now. Ooh, it's a little hot. Oh, yeah, these bad boys is done. Got me some fresh toast sticks, y'all. I've been eating these things like crazy. You would think that's the only thing I have. Like, the way I'm just, uh, uh I'm, I'm so addicted to my fresh toast. Ooh, they hot. Hot, hot, hot. 
And then I do my little drizzling with my syrup on it. It'd be so good, y'all. <laughs> my son don't like them. I said if he anything like me, he gonna like it. But he's like a pancake and waffle person. And I like that stuff too. But I love my French toast sticks. Like, I can't get enough of it. I can't get enough. It's good. It's so good. Get my little water, y'all. It ain't been too hot. Like, y'all know this, like, well, depending on where you stay at. But have y'all got, you know, you guys noticed, like, um, basically notice like, what I'm trying to say. It be cold in the morning, y'all. Like, I have been noticing that, like, when you get up in the morning, it be, like, real, real cold. I mean, I ain't been noticing, but lately, where I'm at, you know, Illinois or whatever, basically, if you're waking up, it be cold, like, through the middle of the night and stuff like that. Like, the, like you know. Like my pop said, this weather is different. Like, it ain't like how it used to be, you know? It's not. It's so different now. Like, it's the summertime, but yeah, we waking up to cold weather. Or if you got fans and air on, you coughing and little stuff like that. So, I say, I guess. Let me say my, my, my prayers, y'all, while I eat. Well, my grace. Say my little prayers, y'all. I be telling my son that, like, you know how we do. <laughs> we on a regular schedule. Look, he know how this go. Don't even get no attitude. You know to pray before you eat. That's just what we do. That's what I had to do. That's what he gonna do. <laughs> That's how it goes. You're supposed to always pray over your food, you know. I got a fork, y'all. Don't judge me. But... <laughs> I'd rather eat with my hands. It's so good. It's so good. And yes, I use the plastic plates because I'm not washing no type of dishes. Okay? Now I don't wash cups and silverware. But as far as plates and all that, my son, I already know I'm not going to do that. Mm -mm. Mommy clean up enough. Like, literally, if you used to see my crib, my kitchen, I don't play. <laughs> I don't care if it's one bowl in there. Gotta be washed. Like, I will never... Well, I ain't gonna say it like that, because, you know, it's okay to leave a dish or, or two in the sink, but I got OCD to the point. I will not leave my stuff just sitting in the sink like that. I can't. Not even overnight. Like falling asleep or whatnot. Now, if I do, I take a little nap or something, you know. And then I go from there, like getting it off the sink, washing it. But I never pile my stuff up. Like my dishes never get sky high. I never let it get sky high. I done walked in a couple of houses, you know, not to judge, but <laughs> some people actually would let their stuff pile up. I couldn't do it. Their brains, you know. insects and all type of stuff so I, I try not to do that especially in the summertime like water water brings like bugs you know Ooh, this thing dripping but but I've been good y'all y'all can tell I'm hungry <laughs> you're so good and they like golden brown so they taste even better. <laughs> like when some people make their French toast or whatever, they basically like they let it cook in the oven to like 350. But what I'm trying to say is they basically let it stay in there for a couple of minutes till it's real, real soft. Mine's is soft, but I like mine golden brown soft. Like it literally have to turn. Like I need some type of burnt. <laughs> To my, to my bread, to my toast, to my, you know, waffle, to my French toast, whatever I may eat for breakfast. I need a little burnt to it. Just a little bit. A little brown. I can't have it all the way soft. Like, it has to have some type of, you know, brownness to it. Like, golden brown. 
This is so good, y'all. I'm hungry. <laughs> Don't mad me. Yeah, but other than that, you guys, I've been good. Y'all know me, Vicky Sweets. Well, you know, if you came across my page before my YouTube channel. Ooh, wait. I'm so hungry, just hurry up and swallow it down the wrong pipe. Ooh. Yeah, but, um, I love you guys. I just want to get up on here. I didn't mean to rant to y'all or whatever, but I'm just speaking from experience, you know. It's okay to speak from experience, shoot, you know. The things that I've been through, people probably going through right now. But I can, you know, testify on a lot of things that I've been through, you know. And try not to make those same mistakes again, it's okay. But, um, I know I got a few little things to take care of today. And I'm about to be out of here, you guys. I'm about to finish eating my French toast because I'm super hungry. And, um, I'll talk to you guys a little later. Or my, maybe in a couple of days. Y'all know me. <laughs> I usually do the little back-to-back -back thing, but I've been kind of giving it a break a little bit. Especially when I'm in the midst of trying to get things done. So, I better be on here like I used to. All I can do is try. But yeah, if you're new here, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for the few subscribers that I do have. I'm appreciative to that much, you know what I'm saying? I'm actually got immune to this thing where I can come on here and talk to you guys. It feels good, you know? It's like you keep stuff bottled up, you know? It's okay to get on here, make a YouTube channel and stuff like you might can release a couple of things like that way, you know. Maybe that's the the. the maybe that's your exit or your you know, calling. You just never know. You just never know, you know. Just give it a try if you're going through things in life or whatever, you know. Some people be afraid to talk about certain things, and this might be your push start, you know. You just never know. That's how I look at it. Hey, okay? if you open up and talk about things on on your YouTube channel create you a page or whatever create you your own channel get on here talk to the people express yourself you know just be you that's all you can be that was a little little motivation for y'all this morning but i'm gonna get out of here drink my water i love you guys and i will talk to you later this is vicky sweets and i'm out this joint peace bye